So RGB is pretty much here to stay in the DIY PC market, and most of us have already learned to accept that. And while you can pretty much find any component riddled with RGB lighting, it's really interesting and, and quite frankly entertaining to see how many vendors continue to push the boundaries and try to one-up each other and themselves when it comes to the RGB implementation in their products. And here we have the next best thing. This is the G-Skill Trident Z Royal Kit. Actually, they sent over two kits. Look at these boxes. Just look at the boxes. Let's take a look at the specs here. On this one, we've got a 32 gig kit, four by eight gig sticks of DDR4, 3200 speed, cast latency 14. And over here, we have exactly the same kit. However, there is one small difference between the model numbers here. We have a G at the end of this one and an S at the end of this one. What could that mean? Let's take a closer look and find out, shall we? Starting with the G, I'll put this over to the side for now. And uh, look at just, look at this packaging. This packaging is unreal. It definitely feels expensive. Like I'm unboxing a piece of jewelry or something. Oh! Cleaning cloth, you wanna take care of those modules. And wow, okay, gold. I guess we know what the G stands for. It stands for gold. S must stand for silver on the other kit, which we'll verify in just a moment. Look at those beauties. What a beautiful presentation. I'm almost afraid to put my fingers on it. So she said, so let's just, I'm just gonna pull one out. So she said, and uh, let's just, let's just see here. Wow, whoa. They actually have plastic wrap on either side. We're gonna peel one side off here. Oh, ooh. On the top there, you can see we have sort of a crystalline cap made of plastic. Looks like a molded plastic that's uh, surely going to diffuse the lighting and hide any of the LED hotspots that are in there. Note how minimal the branding is on these sticks. You, you only get a single Trident Z Royal plug on either side. It's very small. There's none whatsoever on the actual top of the module. So when these are installed, you probably won't even see any sort of branding whatsoever, which I think most people would appreciate. The finish on these is absolutely stunning. I'm sure they get ridiculous fingerprints though, and sure enough, they do. Hence the cleaning cloth that comes included. Of course, time will tell how well the quality of this finish holds up. I can't imagine that the paint would scratch off that easily. And of course, once you install these modules, you're pretty much not coming in contact with them very often. So that shouldn't be much of an issue. But why don't we go ahead and open the other box? Here's to see what the silver looks like. Do -do 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 and silver. Ooh, I think I'm a silver fan. Wifey sauce is shaking her head no. She likes the gold more, I think. Yeah, yeah, she's smiling. She likes the gold. So to each their own. Looks are subjective. Who knew? Here comes the ceremonial plastic peeling. Aww. Oh yeah, I'm a silver fan. I'm a silver fan. It's probably also fairly obvious to you guys that these are very reflective heat spreaders. I mean, they're basically mirrors. You got mirrors on either side of the stick, which some people are gonna like, some people won't. But at the very least, they're gonna be highly reflective of any other lights that are in your system. So if you got an RGB graphics card, an RGB strip in there, this is gonna be bouncing that light off like crazy. All right, now I gotta level with you guys. I've actually been holding out on you because G-Skill sent me one more thing besides these two kits. And I wanted to sort of surprise you guys with it right now. I actually don't know what it is myself, but it's this thing. I, I would have to imagine it's it's another memory kit, maybe a larger one with more dims, hoping for 128, but I'll take 64. Let's take the sleeve off to see if there's any specs on the box. There are no specs on the box. However, there is a micro USB port. What's happening here? What is this? Looks like there's a little, little pull out drawer. What is this, a jewelry box? Okay, we've got micro USB cable and this, oh, what is, what is, oh, what, what? What is, this is like a display box, like a jewelry type of display box for your memory. I would imagine that G-Skill has sent this over particularly to the reviewers so that they have a, a kind of fun, easy way to display the new modules rather than having to stick them into a PC. I don't think this is retail. Well, shoot, I feel like it would be a waste for me not to show this off to you guys in full effect. So let's light up some crystal. All right, so I just plugged a little battery pack in that seemed to do the trick. And here she is. Womp, womp, womp. Stunning. Absolutely gorge. Looks like something that my mom would have on her nightstand or something like that. It's ridiculous how over the top and exquisite these modules look, especially in this display box, but 
damn, they look good. IMO. And as I expected, these crystalline caps are doing a great job of hiding any LED hotspots while also diffusing the lighting across the entire stick very evenly. Now, most of you guys are probably familiar with the Trident Z RGB modules that have been out for quite some time now. And very much like those, the LEDs on these sticks can be customized individually per stick, or you can sync them across however many modules you've got in your system. Additionally, this supports Asus Aura Sync as of now. G-Skill has said that they may add support for other RGB softwares in the future, but that hasn't been fully confirmed just yet. So there it is, guys. G-Skill Trident Z Royal Memory Kits in your choice of gold or silver. Which one do you like more? Sound off in the comments. Let's get a debate going. Of course, don't let my opinion sway you either way. And in case you're interested, I'll drop some links to these bad boys in the description. That's all for now, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Get subscribed for more tech stuff coming at you really soon. Make sure to turn notifications on so you don't miss anything coming up. And I'll see you guys in the next video.